cops, heavyweights out like like it's nothing. of his career wins have ended inside the distance. Tonight, he steps up for the ultimate challenge. Here is Ismail Lazar. Here's our tale of the tape in this heavyweight super fight. Rico Verhoeven versus Ismail Lazar. Yes, Lazar is shorter. His reach is not even close, but he does way more, Joe. What does that tell you? Well, that tells you that he's got a lot of power, that he needs to get on the inside to land that power. He needs to try to throw that extra 12 pounds behind those punches, but that's tough against that experience. King of kickboxing, he's the king because many have tried and many have failed. So let's see if Lazar can use that power to do something against Rico Verhoeven. Let's take you back to yesterday's weigh-in and look how Rico just towers over Lazar. But this is nothing new for the Moroccan. No, the Moroccan has fought every fight he's been in. He's the shorter. He's not as big, but he's come out victorious in almost all of those fights. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. A five-round non-title super fight in the glory heavyweight division between a deceptively strong newcomer who has made a career of silencing his critics and the crown king of the division with wins over some of the sport's legendary names. This bout sanctioned by the International Sport Kickboxing Association at the opening bell, your referee is Tobias Gerald. From the Brabant Holland to Brazil, glory kickboxing fans are watching around the world. It's time for glory! Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he is a former European heavyweight champion. His professional record, 30 wins with two losses, one bout scored even, and 15 of those wins coming by knockout. At 5 feet, 11 and a half inches, 1.82 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 268 pounds, 121.7 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Morocco, ladies and gentlemen, here is Ismail, the star, Lazar! His opponent, standing on the left and fighting out of the white corner, rides a 12-fight glory win streak dating back to 2013. His professional record, 50 wins with 10 losses, 14 of those wins by knockout. He stands 6 feet 5 inches tall, 1.96 meters, and he weighed in at 255 and one half pounds, and even 116 kilos. Fighting out of the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning glory heavyweight champion of the world, the king of kickboxing, Rico Once again, your referee in charge is Tobias Gerald. Gentlemen, it's five rounds in the glory heavyweight division. You both know the rules, so respect my command at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Fight good, fight clean, fight hard. May the best man win. Touch glove if you want, and back to the corners. Judge. Will we see another dominant victory for the king? Or can Lazar pull off perhaps the biggest upset in the history of glory? It's a heavyweight super fight in Den Bosch, Netherlands. And here we go, five rounds. 
Rico in the white gloves, Lazar in the black. Rico's gonna want to keep Lazar at the end of his punches. That's why he's throwing that jab, staying long, make it difficult for Lazar to try to get inside. The crowd about split 50-50. Lazar from nearby as well. A lot of Moroccan fans waiting to explode here tonight. No fear from Lazar. He'll come right at you all night long. Well, when you fight giants, every time you fight, you can't be scared. You can't respect Rico too much. That's why he's kind of staying there. He's got to counter right back. And if you've watched some of Lazar's highlights online, you know he has a pretty good high kick as well. He's extremely flexible. Yeah, he has this left high kick that he throws really high. I'm sure as he loosens up, we'll start to see it. Lazar, a massive underdog in this fight. If he wanted to win $100 on Rico winning, you'd have to put down 2,000. He's a 20 to one favorite. Nice uppercut from Lazar. Probably a strategy. I can see him trying to hit the body, try to mix uppercuts. Well, Rico's staying long, using that jab. You can see how Rico keeps his left hand high as well. He knows that overhand right from Lazar is a doozy. And everyone that fights Rico says the same thing. He executes the game plan perfect. He stays focused. He's a perfectionist. with those long, powerful legs. Look at that man's thighs, by the way. Well, like they're completely natural. Well, his kicks are one of his best weapons. So I, I expect him to be using his low kicks, left high kicks, body kicks, keep defensive up top and chop away with his kicks. Nice combinations from Rico. Another big advantage Lazar has is that he can take a punch. He'll take the abuse to land his big right hand. And a right hand there towards the end of the round as Rico has something to say. And I guess the bell rang there. No, Rico's mouth guard was flung out of the ring. They have to get that from the first row. We'll see a replay. I think you're right, Joe. Lazar may have knocked Rico's mouthpiece into the crowd. Joe, here are your keys to glory for tonight's heavyweight attraction. Well, it's not a big surprise that Lazar's going to want to try to get on the inside, look to attack the body, and make sure he throws punches and bunches where Rico's going to do what he does best, control the fight, use his reach and height advantage, and look to chop away with those kicks. Here's that last punch from Lazar right at the end of round one. Boom! Out comes the mouthpiece. Yeah, he's one of Lazar's biggest punches is that overhand right. Perfectly timed. And Rico says, good punch, man. Not sure that was enough to give the first round to Lazar, but we'll find out momentarily under our open scoring system. Many people didn't think Lazar would see the second round, but he's right here, and he's very much in this fight. Landed the best shot of round one. And it's five rounds, and when asked what he thinks about the five rounds, he's like, I like it. It gives me five different opportunities to try to put Rico out. All five judges score 10-9 for Glory's heavyweight champion, Rico Verhoos. Not only is Lazar excited about five rounds, he predicted he'd knock out Rico and would do it in the fifth round. There's that overhand right he keeps landing. That seems to be his best shot that he's been landing. There's your punches to the head. Verhoeven with 21, Lazar with eight. Frank, 
What do you make so far of the strategy of Ismail Lazar? Well, he's doing well. He's showing that he, he can take it and stand in the pocket with Rico. He's got to keep moving his head off of Rico's jab and try to counter with that overhand right. Ismail Lazar has never been knocked out. In fact, he's never been knocked down, even in training. So Rico has his work cut out for him if he wants to win by KO here tonight. Rico fighting really smart, keeping long, keeping his distance. This is exactly what Rico wants. Now we southpaw. Look for that left kick. Lazar landed a grazing left hand. And if Lazar is indeed waiting for the perfect moment to throw his punch on a counter punch, what is the strike that he's waiting for Rico to throw? Well, he's looking for Rico just to exchange on the inside, and he's looking to throw that overhand right. But if anything, it's that jab that he can slip his head off and counter with. Because he knows Rico's establishing that straight punch. Rico appears to be getting more and more comfortable, which could be a good or bad thing. Well, I think it's going to see Rico being more active. Now that he's felt some of the power of Lazar, you'll see him starting opening up, start throwing a little bit more combinations. A lunging uppercut connects for Lazar. Right. Rico Verhoeven in phenomenal shape. And even when Rico blocks some of those punches from Lazar, it still knocks him off balance. That's how much power Lazar has. They're still going through, but Lazar just ate an uppercut. And an inside low kick. And those inside low kicks Rico throws to the inside back leg is a very difficult shot to pull off. What a jab. You can see Lazar's head <laughs> snap back. So a good round two for Rico Berhu. Yeah, it's definitely two rounds to zero for Rico. Lazar did find some success with some punches on the inside, but Rico really sticking to that game plan to keep Lazar at the end of his punch. <laughs> Well, you see Rico trying to establish straight punches, but man, Rico's just so slick with his combinations, mixing angles, and he landed some beautiful uppercuts in that round. But just shows how tough the chin of Lazar is to be able to take an uppercut like that and still stay in the pocket. Knees right to the thigh of Lazar. Round three. This fight has flown by. We haven't had a magical moment quite yet, although the mouth guard being knocked out was pretty spectacular. We'll see the official judges' scores here in a moment. Another 10-9 round for all five judges. So Verhoeven up two rounds to none over Ismail Lazar. And by Rico being active on the outside like this, it makes it very difficult for a forward fighter like Lazar to come in because he has to eat punches. But when Lazar's in there on the inside, he has to capitalize, put those punches in bunches and go. Push kick has become a pretty good weapon for Rico in this fight. Yeah, and same with that inside back leg low kick. I would think a push kick would be a very frustrating kick to absorb over and over, just like a jab. Yeah, it's the strategy to use. When you're a taller fighter and you're fighting a shorter pressure fighter, straight attacks work, jabs, right hands, front kicks, because that shorter fighter needs to get on the inside. Now Rico starting to open up a little bit. Nice combination. Started in the head, ended with a low kick. The combination on the inside that seems to be working is that right uppercut, left hook, follow low kick. One of my favorites to throw on the inside. We haven't seen a high kick attempt from Lazar yet, I don't believe. 
No, he's relying solely on his boxing. And now when he gets inside, he's being a little gun shy as Lazar. There he is in there. Could be the fatigue factor building up. A minute to go here in round three. Distribution for Verhoeven. Head, body, and leg. Lazar hasn't landed a head kick or a body kick. Now, his best weapon earlier on in the fight was that overhand right. But since then, Rico made the adjustment, keeping his left guard really tight and shut down that overhand right. If Lazar was to win this fight, it would have to be by knockout. No one thought he was going to win on a points decision. So even though he's losing the first two rounds and maybe the third as well, it's no time to panic for Lazar. Still has six minutes left to do something. Rico using his distance beautifully to land that right hand while he was backing up. Not much to cheer about for Lazar fans there in round three. No, it's still all Rico Verhoeven. He, and you can see the dominance by his activity and overhand right punches, slipping punches. What makes Rico so dangerous and so great is his technical aspect to fighting, his footwork, his distance, his ability to change levels with all of his strikes. And he's just able to pick Lazar apart. If you look at the total strikes landed, Rico has landed 121 strikes versus 53 from Lazar. And there's the proof, Joe just mentioned it. Over double the output for Rico Verhoeven. And just looking at his face right now, Verhoeven feels very much in control of this fight. Ready? Fight! Lazar is known for being bold and fearless. May have to see some of that here in the last two rounds. Well, a lot of people asked why this was a five-round fight, and Lazar was happy with the five because if that was a three-round fight, the fight would be over. So Lazar does have two more chances if it can go to a fifth round. Lazar's fans trying to build some confidence, get some fire under him. There he goes, trying to counter back with some combinations of his own. Left hand, a little baby hook there from Lazar. Look at Rico, just trying to chop the tree down. Well, it's that combination. He threw a punch, a knee, and a kick all in one com combination. Constantly changing levels. He jabs you, front kicks you, inside low kick, then he attacks the back leg, outside leg. Constantly changing his areas of attack. And it looks like Rico's no longer fearing the power of Lazar. He's, he's more willing to come inside now instead of staying at distance the entire time. Rico's even comfortable staying in southpaw. Earlier it was Lazar trying to push the pace. Now look at Rico walking forward. Oh, he could have landed a right hand there. Lazar has to be careful. Lazar told us he's in shape to go 10 rounds, much less five. It'd be interesting to see Lazar attack Rico when he's in his southpaw with aggressive boxing. Test Rico's defense from the southpaw. A switch kick from Lazar. And there's a smirk it looked like on Rico's face. He appreciates the technique. Maybe he was impressed that Lazar was able to do it. There was the right hand that Lazar's been looking for. Didn't come close.
Does Lazar still have the power after eating all these Perfect. shots? It doesn't seem like it. We'll see, though. He predicted a fifth round. Fifth round knockout. That was a prediction from Lazar. That means it'll happen in these final three minutes. Another rather dominant round for Rico Verhoeven. It's four rounds to none. So Lazar, the star, has to get a KO here. Hij gaat nu nog uit op zijn kop. Dus hij heeft geen zin. Dus hier ga je niet meer redden. Achter de benen. Ga naar die armen. Ga naar die armen. Kijk uit, hè. Hij gaat uit de Ja, kom aan. Hij komt er even uit. We saw Lazar smiling and almost laughing in his corner. I don't know if it's because I can't hit this guy or if it's because I got this story about me. Let's see. Three minutes to go here in this heavyweight super bout. Let's see what Lazar can put together. If you can put any threat and combinations together. Hey, one judge gave round four to Lazar. So there's that moral victory. So now, does Rico just coast home, or does he try and please the home crowd here? Well, he tried moving and ate a right hand. But I don't know Dutch, but it looked like Dennis Crowell in the corner of Rico was telling him to use his kicks. And there was one right there. Upper thigh. Straight punches and kicks from Rico. Rico told us a knockout for him just wasn't important. He just wanted to win. If a knockout came, it, it came. But right now, it's looking more and more like a points victory and a dominant one at that for Verhoeven. We haven't seen Le Lazar just go beast mode and just throw lefts and rights at the head. Well, there is some early exchanges, but I think he was discouraged early from the tight defense of Rico. Just nothing behind those punches for Lazar, even though he gets inside. Wicked combination for Rico. Ripped the body, then ripped an uppercut right up the middle. Minute to go here, the fifth and final round. And you can see when Lazar gets inside, it's just a jab and a right hand that just doesn't have anything behind it. No, there's not much. Rico keeps mixing knees and uppercuts. Oh, there's a left hand, and it may have staggered Rico. And he's a right hand, and here comes Rico fighting back. And he makes an uppercut in that combination. The best moment of the fight for Lazar, but does he have the energy to follow it up? Another right hand from Lazar. Oh, and an uppercut from Rico. 10 seconds to go. Rico's going for the home run shot. He finally opened up there. And that's it. Domination for the king of kickboxing, Rico Verhoeven. That was incredible. And you got to look at some of these total strikes. Rico had landed 207 versus the 84 of Lazar. Just so beautiful with his distance, beautiful with his combinations and strike selection. That's why he's the king of kickboxing.
This is as close as Ismail Lazar got to glory. There was the left hook, and then the uppercut, and a right hand to follow it up. He had three punches left in him, Joe, and we saw him. Well, they rocked Rico's head, but he stayed in the pocket. He got a little emotional. You saw him open up, but you know, Lazar just didn't have enough power to do any threat to Rico on the inside. A chance for the man known as the star to become a superstar tonight, but just not enough there for Ismail. Well, there is a, a victory for him. He did stay five rounds with the best in the world, and who's going down is one of the best kickboxers of all time, so there is a, a little victory for Lazar. Here are the highlights from this, our super fight main event. And most of these are gonna be Rico really trying to establish his difference, staying active with combinations, showing good defense on the outside, good defense on the inside, where Lazar just kept going forward all five rounds. Although he wasn't doing damage, he didn't back up, he stayed in the pocket and still showed some threat in his over right, overhand right. But Rico's combination, changing levels with his low kicks, body kicks, front kicks, that strike selection and distance control was just beautiful performance. Here are our final fight statistics, and as you can imagine, they're pretty much all one way for Rico Bear moving. 208 total strikes landed compared to 84 for Ismail the Star Lazar. Now for the official decision, we go back into the ring and Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals from our five ringside judges. One has it, 49, 46. The other four see it the same, 50, 45. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Rico. Congratulations, a dominating performance for the king of kickboxing. How would you rate your performance in there? Because it looked like you were having a really good time. Whew. Uh, don't, please ask me, don't ask me how to rate it. Because for me, I hope the audience it was OK. But for me, it definitely was a five or something. I, I definitely uh, let him pull me too, too much towards his game. But whew, for him to do that, a lot of props. Respect. Ismael, come on over here. I see you have a smile on your face. You have all of your fans here rooting for you. How did it feel in there tonight? Uh, <laughs> at the one time, I feel good. All the guys that they came for me and support me. The other guys, I can have to give big ups to Rico. We did a good job. Enrico, what's next for you? Who, what's next? Um, not sure. A lot of things coming up, you know. Uh, uh, I'm moving, uh, my, my wife is pregnant, so there's so many cool things that, uh, that are happening right now, so many positive things, and uh, yeah, just had a great win over uh, Ismail Lazar, so uh, he's an amazing fighter. Like I said, like I tell, told everybody before, this guy is amazing, so don't judge him from the way he looks, you know, it's, uh, he's an amazing fighter, so he's gonna be a very good one for glory. Well, congratulations to you both. Rico, you're the winner. However, that was an amazing performance from both of you. Thank you so, so much. Congratulations. So Rico Verhoeven now, 13 straight wins in glory, 51 wins overall. He hasn't lost in nearly five years in a glory ring. The king of kickboxing's reign continues.